Ah, you think darkness is your ally. You merely adopted it. I was born in it, molded by it. I did not see light until I was already a man, and by then it did nothing but blind me. That's right, this episode is all about dark theme in Xamarin Forms. Come on, check it out! So let's jump right in and see how we can make this application um, light and dark mode proof. So as you can see here on the right, I have the iOS simulator running with uh, just a file new Xamarin Forms application. Uh, there is a very handy shortcut uh, for the iOS simulator, which is uh, command shift A, which lets you toggle about uh, light and dark. So as you can see, there are some things not completely going right here. So you can see that we are now in dark mode because the status bar is turning white and now it's dark. Um, so and these texts, actually, we did not give them a specific color. Um, so they will just have the iOS color, which is good for most cases because they are just dark in, um, in light mode and um, light in dark mode. So, uh, you know, whenever you switch, those will update automatically. iOS has a number of these colors and you can just use those to your advantage to not do anything. But, you know, because we're in a Xamarin Forms environment, you probably want to use the cross-platform uh, APIs that we have available for this. So let's see how to do that for a couple of different scenarios. So let's say we have this top bar that we want to uh, change colors for in uh, specific themes. So right now it's hard coded to uh, this hex value. But what you can do in XAML is say app theme binding, which is a new API that was added specifically for this dark mode scenario. And we can say, OK, we want this in light theme. Um, to be, whoops, I want to have that value back, please. In light mode, where we are now, we can just say, okay, I want to use this one. Uh, we need to use single quotes because else it will get confused on the uh, the pound sign here. Uh, so we're going to use a hex value here, but we're not bound to just using hex values. We can also, for dark, we can just say, um, okay, I want this to have a white background. Um, so now, whenever we... Um, we need to add a comma here. Uh, whenever we save this and hot reload will uh, reload this for us. So if I do command shift A again, you can see that the uh, top bar already now uh, switches between light and dark as well. Uh, but now we get in trouble with this little title here. So um, the text color is set to white. Uh, so again, if I were to remove this, I th then uh, it will pick up the automatic iOS colors. So now it will be dark, uh, which is exactly the, the opposite of what we want to, to do here. Um, so we're going to use this uh, API here as well. And we're again going to do app theme binding. And we're going to say, OK, for dark, um, we want this to be black, actually. And for uh, light, we want this to be white because we have this uh, colored background, right? So we need to make this visible uh, nicely on whatever background we have. And now if I switch, you can see it all updates nicely. So now that we have this, let's have a look at what else is going wrong here. So one thing that you probably want to do also, uh, what makes the text disappear right now, is because the pages tend to have a white background by Xamarin Forms. So you might want to set your page to a background color of um, background color of transparent. Um, so again, with this, you will get the coloring code, uh, the coloring system from, from iOS. So whenever I switch now, it will automatically switch the background to um, light and dark as well. So that's pretty cool. Now I don't need to do anything that will go automatically. But if you have a more elaborate design system in place, uh, then you probably want to specify your own colors as well. Uh, but for now, this is uh, fine for our demo. You can, you can figure out the rest as a nice exercise. Uh, for yourself. Uh, but, you know, uh, this is not the only way to do this. As with everything, you can do things in multiple ways in XAML, but also in C Sharp, of course, which we will see a little bit later on. Um, so if we take this label here, which also has like spans and all these kinds of things, we can also say um, label dot text color. Uh, and we can set it this way. And we can add a app theme binding here. And we can say, OK, for light, we want this to be, um, you know, blue is a nice color. And for dark, we want to make this more um, 
stand out and we are going to make this yellow. So now I'm going to save this again. Hard reload uh, will make these changes automatically. And you can see uh, whenever I switch now, it will also pick up on these changes. So that's another notation for exactly the same thing. Uh, maybe you don't like the one notation or the other, then you can use whatever you want. Now, as you might expect, there is also a event triggered whenever uh, we switch to light and dark. Um, so I have this label implemented here already on line 22, uh, which is named the current theme label. So what we can do is go to our code behind right here and we can go into our application, which is the object that represents our whole application. The current is the current instance and we have the requested theme changed, which is an event that's triggered whenever the theme is changed. Uh, as you might expect. So we can add a handler to this, which will have a sender of object we are not going to use. So I will just uh, put in a underscore here and we are going to use the arguments because that will hold the information about uh, which theme we are switching to. And I'm just going to use this Lambda expression right here. You can also put it in your uh, separate method if that's what you want. And I'm going to say this label, so the current theme label dot text is going to be our arguments uh, requested theme because that requested theme will be the new theme that we are switching to and then the to string. Um, so there we go, save that. Uh, so now I need to stop and rerun my application because this is something hot reload is not picking up. So let's wait a little bit for our application to come back up. Um, here we go. And if we now see the application first running, um, it was already set to light. And whenever I switch it now, you can see it switches to dark, it switches to light, and it comes here in our um, event. So you can do whatever you want here whenever the theme is changing. So if there's other things that you need to do whenever the theme is changing, um, this is the way to go about that. And um, of course, this all works fine for just updating text like this or updating colors. Colors will probably be the thing that you're updating most whenever you're working with dark theme and design things. But also take into account like images or, you know, maybe some other things. And that's all things that you can do. So if we go back to our example for a little bit, um, you can see I have a little to do here for an image. So let's just add an image right here. And we are going to say image and we're going to give that a source. And I have a Xamagon color.png. Uh, I've added that to my project and whenever we save, we can see the Xamarin logo popping up here. So let's have a quick look at our project, um, our iOS project, the resources. So I've added a Xamagon color and a Xamagon white. So you need to uh, create the images yourself. Those unfortunately won't appear uh, magically for you. Uh, so I have these set up in all of my, my projects, Android, UWP. Um, actually, macOS is also supported for uh, dark mode right now. Um, so, you know, you can use it on all the major platforms. Uh, but, you know, for your image source, you can also do this. So let's just uh, take this and we are going to add another app theme binding here. And we are going to say, okay, for light mode, this uh, colored one is nice because, you know, uh, we have a light background. So this is going to work fine. Uh, but for dark, I want to have a Xamagon light because, you know, we have a dark background all of a sudden. And maybe we just like to have this inverse version. So I'm saving this. And now, oh, actually, I think it's not called light. I think it's called white. Um, so let's fix that. White, save it again. Uh, and whenever I switch now, you can see that this um, changes to blue and, and to white. So that's pretty cool. You can set this up for images. You can set this up for anything that is a bindable property. So you can even do this, you know, if you have a requirement that says, I want to have things in dark mode, I want to have this, this padding changed. That is something that you can do if that's what you want. Now, if we want to do this same thing in code, uh, I'm not going to uh, run it again because it will have the exact same um, effect. But if we want to do that, we can say, okay, let's take this current label, for instance, and we can say set uh, app theme color, uh, or we can set uh, on app theme. So these are two helper methods that will allow you to set different values based on the app theme. So if we do this here, we can say label dot uh, text color property, and we can here say color dot um, Alice blue and 
color dot yellow um, for dark. So then now whenever you do this, it will switch between the Alice blue and, and yellow values. Uh, the on app theme is more generic, so you can put all kinds of objects in here if you want to make it specific to colors. Uh, you can set the theme label and you can set uh, app theme color. And this is a helper method that specifically uh, takes in color. So it's a little bit easier to use that with the IntelliSense and stuff because it knows about um, it being used in color. So um, if we were to do the same thing, we can just say text color property, color dot black, color dot beige, and um, here we go. Now we have the exact same thing. So this is the way you can do this in code as well. Now I've also deployed this to Android just to give you a quick look on, uh, you know, you don't have to change anything and it will work on Android as well. Uh, so the way to switch between light and dark theme as it's called on Android is a little bit more difficult. So we have to go into uh, the actual settings app. So um, let's see if we can find that settings. And then we're going to look for dark. There we go, dark theme. And we can toggle this switch. And whenever we do, we go back here and we see that a couple of things, you know, here the, the, the image has changed, here the yellow thing has changed. Um, and here the background of this um, bar has changed as well. Um, now, if you want to make uh, use of this um, thing right here. So this event, uh, you will have to make sure that you are catching the UI mode uh, config changes, the right ones uh, on Android. So the way to make sure uh, is to go into your solution, uh, go to the Android um, project, then to your main activity and make sure that here in this configuration changes uh, attribute, you will also have this config changes UI mode. Uh, so if you're upgrading from a older project that um, uh, you had already in place, uh, because this is now changed in the new templates to, to have this value. But if you're updating an, an existing project, then make sure these config changes are in here, because if not, then the event will not fire and the uh, dark mode things will not be handled properly. So this is something that you should know uh, for working with Xamarin Forms on um, Android dark theme. Now, lastly, to just go full circle on this, I've also have implemented the uh, UWP app here. So whenever I deploy this to my local machine, you can see the UWP uh, version of this coming up. Um, if you want to know how to add UWP targets to your application, go check out the video that is in your upper right corner right now um, for more content. So, you know, and if you haven't done so, please subscribe. Um, but here we have our uh, UWP app. So again, I need to go into the uh, settings here to make this work and find the dark theme setting. Um, and whenever I switch this to dark, you can see that this also updates all the things that we've set in our other code without touching anything. So uh, with this code cross-platform, you can do UWP, Android, iOS, and even uh, your macOS app will uh, implement dark mode automatically. One little thing again about UWP as well, just like Android, um, if you are upgrading a existing project, then please make sure to go into your UWP project and into the main page.xaml. Um, in here, there will be a reference to some kind of theme. Uh, so the requested theme will be in here and that is uh, pinned to light. So if you do not remove this requested theme, it will just always use the light theme regardless of what is set in uh, your Windows OS settings. So if you're upgrading a existing UWP app, make sure to go into this XAML page right here um, and that there is no requested theme set in your application. Just like that, we've implemented dark mode into iOS, Android, UWP, just by changing one code base. That's amazing, right? I mean, that is so cool. So no excuse to not implement your fancy designs in light theme, dark theme, all the themes, um, just do it right now. If you've liked this, please hit that subscribe button, click that bell, do the like, let me know in the comments what you think, what you want to see next, and I'll see you for that next episode.